Good morning. Have I got a fantastic treat for you guys. Chicken and rice balls. It's really easy. It's a different way of using rice in an Asian dish. We're going to cook some brown rice. We're going to put some, uh, make some balls with the chicken and we're going to cook it in a nice miso broth. It's going to have a broth. It's got prawns. It's got chicken. It's got rice. It's got these beautiful fresh flavors, ginger, kaffir lime and coriander. It's going to be really good. It's really simple. I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit later on in the show. Uh, back in the cafe kitchen and Mark, we've got broth and Asian rice balls to make, which sounds fantastic. I've eaten so much chocolate over the long weekend <laughs> that I'm ready for a healthy meal and this looks delicious. Yes, it's really good. It's really healthy. We're using brown rice, to, uh, brown rice today. Yep. So, trick is with this recipe, cook it, uh, spread it out onto a tray, let it cool down, put it in the fridge and it's got to be cold. If you start doing this and pureeing it when it's hot, it's going to go really gluggy. Okay, nice. There you go. Okay. Tip straight away. Get your brown rice sauce. Right, so we're going to pop that in there. Okay, we're pureeing, then, are we? Yeah. Okay. So, so we're using the rice to bind it all together. And we've got the chicken thigh as well. Okay. Are we going to mince the chicken? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to blender. Yeah, we're going to put it okay, all in. Okay, cool. Okay. And we're going to make our there. ball. So we've got coriander going in there now. Yum. So we're just building up all the flavours. Mm -hmm. Got some um, uh, lemongrass. Okay, sweet. All right, so just taking the uh, top part off because that's really woody. And then I'm going to take a couple of layers. Out. Just take some layers off. Okay, good. Yeah, the because whole it's, thing in. yeah, oh, and then you can woody. put it. Yeah, it's just a bit woody on the outside. So if you feel that, and then if you sort of feel that, it's a lot softer. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Fractionally, so, anyway. Yeah, but then we'll right. chop it up just to help it. But we'll get it in, and you get a really, really good flavour from that. Nice work. And you've got your uh, Easter onion here. <laughs> spring onion. Spring yeah. onion. Oh, well, yeah, wrong season. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, cool. We're going to use that. We're going to use garlic. We've got so much yeah, ingredients that's it. going so, on here. So it's just sort of. I mean, just roughly chop it. Get it in there. Um, and then, because obviously the, all the work's going to be done by the uh, food processor, okay. and we sort of want to uh, grind it down together, so it, you know it's nice and compact sort of paste. Still look like a little bit of texture in nice. there, but the thing is, you want to be able to mold it okay, and good. get it in. So we're going to pop that in. I like it when the processor does all the work. Bit, uh, it's usually <laughs> me doing all the work. So today the processor, this is great. Well, you can operate the processor. Oh, uh, right, so a little bit of uh, ginger. So I'm just going to square it off. Okay, just cool. roughly, just to peel it. Obviously, keep all these bits. You yep. know, keep them all in the freezer, and then you can uh, use it for something oh, like a nice. master stock one day, or, or you know, if you put in flavour and anything, juice is really good. You know, don't waste anything. Nice. Uh, so just peel those, and we'll get those in. And then I'm just going to start blending that down a little bit. Okay. And then we'll pop, pop our chicken in. So get it to that stage, and then we're going to pop, pop our chicken in. So just going to cut this down <laughs> into little strips, and then we're good to go. Yum. Try not to get any peel in there. Okay, well, look, the long weekend is coming up. This is a chance for you to try these recipes. Uh, and if you do, make sure you let us know on Facebook. We love to know how it's all going when you make them at home. Lots of people do, which is great. The cafe.co.nz is where you can find all the recipes. Right, to get that in, and then just let it, let it all um, puree down. Right, so you're just doing bit by bit. Yeah, and then now, once the chicken's in, yep. so really get it in, you can see it's starting to come together. Okay. And that's what we want, that's what we're looking for. You know, it's nice and soft. The chicken's going to hold it together. It's going to be when it's raw. It's going to be um, it's going to be quite sort of soft. Okay. But you need it solid so you can make a ball. And you can chill the balls down. Then we'll fry the balls and they'll finish cooking in the uh, miso broth. Oh yeah. And, and then they'll be set. That's interesting because I thought you'd need a mincer to get your chicken that way. But there you go. You can just do it on the food processor. Brilliant. Love there you it. go. So that's what we're uh, that's what we're after. Okay. Nice. That consistency there. That's good. Okay, and then uh, here's a really good tip for you. Yes. If you get some wet hands. Yes. Okay, watch this. This is how you know that your rice and your meat is all so ready. So sort of wet damp hands, get yes. the mix, and then you can just sort of squash it together, give it a nice roll, and you get these nice sort of smooth balls. Look at that. So we're going to do that. Fantastic. If you don't wet your hands, it's going to go everywhere and make it really messy. Okay, cool. See, look. Should I go and wet my hands? Clean hands. Clean-ish hands. Okay, sweet. I will go and wet my hands. Okay, now to the second part of this fantastic recipe. It's starting to smell good. We've got our chicken balls on. We're just browning them off. Yeah, yeah so we just want to brown them off now. Yep. So, so medium, medium to sort of high heat, not too hot. You don't want to burn them. Just get a nice brown, uh, brown colour evenly all over them. So you can keep turning those. Whilst they're browning, we're just going to get the base of the broth. So really simple, miso paste, which mm -hmm. is a, a fermented soybean. Right, very popular miso. Yeah, yeah. very popular, great, full of flavour, really easy to do. You know, all the work's been done. So in a bowl, get some uh, bottom water or just some water and you can dissolve it. And then yeah. that's pretty much the base of the broth. OK, that's easy, isn't it? There we yeah. go. So really easy. So that's that. 
You know, this is how quick it is, you know? Let, let all the people do the work, you know? Who are good at it? Not everyone. <laughs> so we're just starting to get a little bit more. Yeah, you a bit can, more colour. You can okay. go a little bit more colour. Okay, I mean, it's good. I mean, you just want to, just want a little bit of colour. Bring out the flavour. It'll give us a nice little sort of a fine crust. And, we, and they're going to be poached as well. So you're not looking to cook them now. Right. I'll tell you what, it's starting to smell good. The mixture in here is just incredible. Right. And then I've got some cafe lime leaves. So you can use fresh if you can find it, or you can get some just out of the jar, which these are. Oh, yeah. Nice. Just give it a nice sort of zesty, lemony flavour. Oh, I can smell that straight away. Right. And then we've got some prawns as well. Yeah. So, as your balls are cooking, yeah. try not to overcrowd uh, crowd the pan, but I'm just going to put some prawns in as well, and we're just going to slightly get a, you know, a nice little colour on those as well, and then they're going to finish off in the broth. we we'll pop those in. This is so cool to be able to do this at home, because quite often you think when you go to a restaurant and you have this sort of experience, you think, oh, I need to leave it to a chef to do. But no, you can do it yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, just restaurant sales have just gone down in New Zealand now. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Right, so as Mike's cooking that, I'm just going to get the garnish ready. So this is how quick and easy it is. This is going to take most of the cooking. We've got the, uh, the broth ready, so it's not, you know, it's not going to be about another sort of five, ten minutes in the pan, just getting the flavours, finishing off the cooking. And then we've got some beautiful bok choy there. Yes. Going to leave it nice and chunky. And we're just going to drop that in the last minute, and that'll just wilt down. We've got some chilli, which we're going to put in, give us a nice little kick. We've got the rest of the coriander as well, which we're going to finish off when we serve. Very really last minute, and some spring onion. And then some bean sprouts as well for another little bit of texture in the soup. Absolutely brilliant. So nice and quick, this recipe. Really quick, really quick. As long as you do your rice at the start, get yeah. that ready, chill it down on the fridge, and then everything else happens pretty fast. Yep, yeah, that's it. So if you flip the prawns over. Okay, good. All oh, that's starting to look good. Yeah, it's, you see, you're starting to get a little bit of colour on there, starting yep. to turn pink. You know, nice big juicy prawns there. Yum. You know, just remember, you don't want to you don't want to cook them for hours and hours, otherwise they will go rubbery. No, we don't want that. No. Okay, a little bit slow. Right, and now we've got side. a little bit of soy sauce, so yes. I'm just going to deglaze the pan with some soy sauce, and then I'm going to pop the miso broth in there. That goes in. We we'll bring it to the boil, turn it down, simmer it, so the, all the chicken's cooked and the prawns are cooked, and then we'll just drop in our vegetables and bean sprouts just to finish off and then we'll serve it. How close to the end do you chuck in the, uh, the rest of the vegetables? Oh, just literally you serve it? about a minute or so. You know, you don't, you don't want them like really soft. You want a little bit of texture in there. The tops are going to wilt straight away, but you want that nice crunch from the uh, stalk. I tell you what, this is smelling incredible. Give this one a go at home. It's going to be delicious. We'll give the taste test a little later on. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, big. Just, just serving it up now. You can see the uh, bok choy's just wilted down. Got the broth in there, the balls are cooked, and the prawns are beautifully in Jeez, I can there smell you go. that from here. Uh, that, that looks that insane. That's really incredible. Okay, can't wait to taste it. What about yourself? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs>